time. Hi, judges. It is a pleasure to be here with you today, enjoying these little moments that last a lifetime. Before I proceed, I want to ask you something. This question will be the focus of my presentation. And the question is, what happens if? What happens if we disconnect for a few moments and we enjoy the moment right now? Today, I brought for you an Ethiopian Landers coffee, or better known as a pink bourbon. A rare variety with a scarce production and difficult to cultivate. Because as we know, to find the best version of this coffee, it needs a higher concentration of nutrients. That's why we had to be careful with its production. This coffee had a rigorous selection process, where we personally pick only the ripe, healthy, and dark red cherries. Because as we know, these cherries have a higher concentration of mucilage, and by the color we know that they are at the exact point of maturation, where the sugar are a greater exposure reaching up to 22 degrees bricks, and then float to remove the cherries from the surface and warranty a raw material of excellent quality. We did all this in order to carry out a beneficial washing process. Always focus on enhancing the sugars. For this reason, this coffee had a double fermentation process. The first in an anaerobic wave, in tanks with relief valve for 90 hours at a temperature of 20 degrees. And then go to eat pulled process, where we remove the shell and much of the mucilage. After that, be able to start with the second fermentation process. It encloses bags for 36 hours. And then start with eat washing process with thermal shock, lowering the temperature to fix the aromas develop in the different phases of fermentation. And finally, start with heat drying process in a mechanical dryer with air recirculation for 40 hours at a temperature of 36 degrees. We did all this together with Jairo Arcila. In his from La Pradera, in my country, Colombia, in the department of Quindío, at the height of 1,930 meters above sea level. All right, oh yes. And now, what happens if? What happens if we roast two kilos of this coffee in a roastery with a capacity of 35 kilos and fluid deck technology? From the hand of Alejandro Moyano, extending the Maya reaction seeking to reduce acidity, making greater dark caramelization, and more balance in the flavors. This coffee had eight minutes roast time, and one minute and 20 seconds developer time. What we found thanks to this variety, with more nutrients, and the roasting curve that I mentioned earlier, was a profile with flavors of passion fruit, malt, caramel, and a sweet chocolate residual with herbal and floral notes. This coffee was roasted 15 days ago at 2,600 meters above sea level in the Bogota city, but left exposed to the oxygen to accelerate the degassing process. I'm bringing you a coffee that I am sure is in the right moment of degassing, where I found a balance between freshness and oxygenation. All right, just the information of the farm, variety, and beneficial process, it is in front of you. I found the best version of this espresso with 19 grams of coffee for 42 grams of espresso where I found a 20% of extraction with 9.10 of TDS. These parameters I am using for all of the things that I'm making today. All right, judges, please, when you receive your espressos, mix them 10 times in a circular way with the spoon that you have in front of you. This to lower in the temperature. 
and incorporate the crema. And in this way, be able to perceive much easier, a medium sweet, medium acidity, low bitterness, with a medium weight, juicy and refreshing mouthfeel, and a lasting aftertaste with beautiful flavors of passion fruit, malt, mangosteen, and a dark chocolate residual with herbal and floral notes. You can leave this spoon in the black cup that you have in front of you. All right, Yojes, once again. In your espresso, you will feel a medium sweet, medium acidity, low bitterness, with a medium weight, and a juicy and refreshing mouthfeel, and a lasting aftertaste, with beautiful flavors of passion fruit, malt, Mangosteen, caramel, and a dark chocolate residual with herbal and floral notes. All right, judges, these are your espressos. And now, what happens if what happens if we add some color to this day with a beautiful cup of coffee? My friend, this is for you. Please enjoy it. This is for you. I will give you a few seconds. Then. You can enjoy this beautiful espresso. This is for you, and this is for you, my friend. Please enjoy. I'll be back soon. All right, Yojes, are we ready? Now, what happens if what happens if we break the parameters of preparing meal drinks with the fresh espressos? For this reason, I prepared the espressos for meal drinks three minutes ago. And also, put them on low temperature to reduce the crema and find a greater concentration of flavors. On the other hand, what happens if what happens if we take a fresh milk with a fat percentage of 3.5% and reduce its percentage of water through evaporation by transfer for two hours at low heat? And as we can see, at 60 minutes we found a 20% of water reduction at a temperature of 70 degrees. At 90 minutes we found a 30% of water reduction at a temperature of 80 degrees. And finally, at 120 minutes, we found a 40% of water reduction at a temperature of 90 degrees. We did all this to find more concentration of fats, sugars, and proteins, and also to add more proteins and make this drink more interesting and introducing the alternative meal to these championships, I am using 16 grams of almond milk bass, dissolved in 280 grams of the milk that I mentioned before. Now, when combined with your espressos at low temperature, you will feel a beautiful flavor of butter cookies, passion fruit ice cream, macadamia, with a silky texture, and a residual that surprised me when I tried it. Residual like a hazelnut. So you just to enhance this experience, please follow my instruction carefully. Where the first sip, you're going to take it directly from the cup. And the second sip, please take it with the straw that you have in front of you. 
where in the first sip you will feel its silky texture and the flavors of butter, cookies, and passion fruit ice cream. Thank you. And the second sip with the straw, please take it with the straw, where you will feel its sweetness and its residual that surprised me when I try it. Residual like a hazelnut. You can leave the straw in the small glass that you have in front of you. All right, here we go. This is for you. Please enjoy. And this is for you. Please enjoy. You can try it now. Enjoy. All right, yes, are we ready? Now, what happens if? What happens if we unite two worlds that have lived in parallel over the years? The war of the coffee and the war of infusions. For this reason, I want to recreate a tree taking into account the profile of this coffee. And let's remember the spicy notes and mild flavors of this coffee. And representing the root and the trunk of this tree, I have my first ingredient. A syrup to prepare it with 50 grams of licorice root for 30 grams of brown sugar. This out in 200 milliliters of water and also frozen and decanted to find a greater concentration of flavor. I am using 30 grams of this syrup to a sweetness and a silky texture. Thank you. All right, yes. Now let's remember the herbal and floral notes of this coffee and representing the flower of this tree. I have an infusion with a different flower as well as the variety that I brought for you today. Five grams of Clitoria flower infused in 200 milliliters of water. Now let's remember the slight citrus notes of this coffee with one gram of lemon. Judges, please focus your attention on this magical moment where you will see a beautiful color change when modifying the pH of this infusion. I am using 30 grams of this mixture to a juicy sensation and a lasting aftertaste. All right, and finally, let's remember the fruity notes of this coffee. And representing the fruit of this tree, I have the last ingredient, 15 grams of passion fruit that enhance the fruity flavors of this coffee. All right, now to incorporate all the flavors and make this drink more interesting and refreshing, I'm going to carbonate only the ingredients without altering the essence of the espresso. All right, yes, the result of the union of these two words are flavors of raspberry, date, panela, with a silky texture and juicy sensation, and a lasting aftertaste of sweet chocolate with herbal and floral notes. So you just please, when you receive your gifts, open the box and move the glass carefully to incorporate the aroma. Don't forget flavors of raspberry, date, panela, with a silky texture and juicy sensation, and a lasting aftertaste of sweet chocolate. Thank you. All right, judges, and now what happens if what happens if we receive, appreciate, and enjoy it? The small gifts that life gives us. One second, I'll be back in a minute. Please enjoy this gift especially designed for you. Don't forget, open the box and move the glass carefully. My friend, this is for you. Please enjoy. This is for you. Please enjoy. My friend, this is for you. Please enjoy. And this is for you. Please enjoy. From the hand of the coffee grower, Jairo Arcila, to my hand, Cesar Velandia Sebarista, making the special coffee gift that we can all enjoy. Time. And time.
Un gran aplauso para el campeón de Colombia, César Augusto.